we all like to watch. Even people watch, you know? We're interesting creatures. And the world around us is full of interesting things. Yet, sometimes, all we want to do is look away. How would you describe Slow TV? I'm not sure many people have even heard of it here. Slow TV is not very well known in America. No, I would say it's not, um, it's not present here. I would describe it as uh, reality. Um, yeah, yeah, reality TV. And uh, America doesn't have that. That's a new term here. I was always interested in making films, and I didn't really know what I wanted to make. I, th I, I thought I wanted to make, you know, action. But they were too fast. There was too much action. One day I was on a, a website, I don't know if you've heard of it, it's, it's called YouTube, that you can watch videos of things. It's this video of this woman who was knitting. Um, you know, she's just da, 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 da. and. About three hours in, it was just like the, the light went on in my head. And I was like, I want to make this. I want to bring slow TV to America. It's, uh, it's a bit of an event, a uh, slow TV. Everybody will gather around the TV and uh, you know, just watch it's for hours and hours. It's, uh, <laughs> it's incredible. Uh, you know, knitting, fires, trains, more knitting, uh, wildlife, uh, you know, knitting by fires. I mean, it's, it's everything. It's no, there's no, there's no boundaries. You know, it, it's like real life, you know, but without the, you know, self-imposed borders and economics and you know, housing crises and racial unrests and things. Yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, it's like real life. I wasn't a normal child. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I grew up in the Midwest, um, in Chicago, mostly, in the city. And people there would say bustling, like, like it was a good thing, you know. Oh, the city is bustling, you know. Oh yeah, John, you know, the city is bustling. As if running around and making noise was a good thing. To me, it was suffocating. But um, to answer your question, I would have to say blue. What made you want to break the record? What record? <laughs> did you watch the NRK2 live broadcast? That uh, yes, I did. Um, all 134 hours. <laughs> it's quite the feat. <laughs> <laughs> That's an understatement. So what drove you to go longer? 
134 hours is a long time for anything, let alone filming. What made you want to commit yourself to such an impossible record? Didn't you guys tell us? He didn't know. He doesn't know we broke the record. That's what. <laughs> that's what you thought this was about. That's what you thought. It, trying to break a record. That's not. That's not what slow TV is about. That's. <laughs> My goal was only ever to bring people together. It's not about competition. It's about... Slow TV is about people. It, it, it's all about people. You know, I, I'm trying to help people change the way that they look. Because when you think about it, we look a lot, but Never at the right things. Never at what's right in front of us. Always at the, at the next. You know, they say, don't blink and you'll miss it, but maybe the problem isn't with blinking. Maybe it's just about Being present, being in the moment, not being afraid to just stay.